Welcome back, lovely people. Yellowstone National Park and a super volcano. Turns out that Yellowstone is on a eruption cycle of about 600,000 years, and the last eruption was 600,000 years ago. But NASA and JPL are worried about it, and they've come up with a cunning plan to cool Yellowstone down. Let's just define what Yellowstone is and why it's a threat. So most volcanoes are a cinder cone, and when they explode, poof, lava comes out the top, runs down the sides, it's pretty bad. Sometimes poof, Mount St. Helens can explode from the side. Hawaii fissures can open and liquid lava can come out. But um, they tend to kind of do a bit of damage, but they don't devastate the planet. Now a caldera or supervolcano really is different. This is what a caldera looks like. There's nothing there because under the ground is a bubble. And I'm talking a big bubble of molten lava. And when this type of volcano erupts, the land falls down, exposing a lake of liquid lava, which is under pressure, bubbly, and it spurts out, covering the entire area. <laughs> I mean, there's evidence that the last time Yellowstone erupted, that the ash from Yellowstone went at least 3,000 miles to Nebraska. And the amount of ash and lava and stuff that comes out goes into the atmosphere and can cause what's known as a nuclear winter masking the earth from sunlight for maybe a hundred years. This is serious. So JPL and NASA are planning to spend 3.5 billion dollars on cooling Yellowstone down. Mm. Okay. <coughs> It's a big lake of molten lava. Here's the plan. They propose drilling down to the edges of the caldera, pumping cold water down, and cooling down the big bubble of magma. Mm. <laughs> okay, here's the facts. They would have to cool it down by 20 gigawatts. That's a large number, and it would take 16,000 years. <laughs> All right, so would it work? Probably not. It would be the world's largest geothermal power station, but I don't think it's gonna work. Plus there's a potential danger. By cooling down the edge or peripheral of the caldera, it might crack, cause fissures, and actually cause it to explode. Not so good. Yellowstone explodes about every 600,000 years, and we're about 6,001 years after it exploded last time. But the chances of it exploding in your lifetime are extremely low. So if JPL and NASA and the US government decide to cool down the Yellowstone caldera, I just hope it doesn't explode in the time it takes them. 16,000 years. The truth is out there.